All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really nice saddle stitch. Hopefully it'll zoom in and focus up on it. Yeah, a really nice saddle stitch. Kinda of show you that. So, it's not too hard. It takes a little bit of practice. And uh, so let's get to it. All right, so what we're looking at, we have a nice block of some type of hard um, stone. So we believe it's marble. And then I'm having this little punch pad over it. Um, what we're gonna use today is we're gonna use just a little bit of bridle, it's just black. It's uh, just something to show you. Take our set of wing dividers. I'm just gonna mark a line. Okay. This is a straight piece. And all I'm gonna do is kind of travel along this. Now I do have two kinds. I have these diamonds and then I also have round punches and we can absolutely talk about those a little bit later on when we would want to use each one, but for first, the saddle stitch is usually the hardest with the diamond or, or even punches that are, are like these, the pricking irons, the little slits, they're, they're sometimes a little bit harder. So, so I just line up with the line And this is something that's a little bit sometimes more difficult to do is get it out. And I'm going to show you something that I picked up. I'll put a link to it. It's uh, actually from a maker. Um, and sometimes it helps. Okay. It's one of these. And they're pretty neat. Again, it's not stuff you need. It's just stuff that's sometimes easier. I, uh, I can't hit too high. I, uh, I can't do nicer hits because the microphone is actually just above the camera. But if you needed to, so say this was in here, right? So I'll just tap it down. Okay, so this can slide in. And you can just pull your piece out like that. Kind of gives you a little bit nice, a um, little bit more control. Just a little bit better. And our next thing that we have to do is we have to set up our threads. So. Two needles. These are um, saddler's needles. They actually they don't have a point. The point is a. Um, they do have a point. They're blunt point. Um, if you poke real hard, it, it'll start to hurt you. But it's a lot better than uh, the the needle points. So thread, right? We can use two different types of thread. This is a uh, lin cable. Great thread. Absolutely amazing results with it. The other one is tiger thread, and I actually personally like tiger thread a lot. Um, so that is what I'm gonna show you, plus the tiger thread will show up against the back, because this is a beige. I actually have a lot of tiger thread. Um, so that's what we're going to use today. All right, so cut off a nice little piece of it, and here you go. So. I like to take my needles and I'll just kind of pinch it and it just flattens out the end a little bit. I like to do that, you don't always have to do that. So there's two different ways to set your needles, to lock them in. The first way is the way that my significant other does it. I don't like it this way, she loves it this way. So what you do is you thread your needle like this, you pull it up, you take your needle and you pierce it on the tail. Okay, so I pierced on the tail. You just slide it over, and then you pull this excess, and now you have a knot at the base of the needle. She likes that way. I think it's harder to get it off. This is the way that I do it. So I thread my needle. I don't leave a lot of tail, but I pierce 
in the middle of the thread, and then I do a double pierce, so I pierce it twice. Okay, so I pierce it twice, and I pull this, so now I have more tail, and it starts to slide it off. And you just go like that, and now I have a tail. So I have a little bit extra that I waste, but overall, the nice thing is when I, if I need to unthread this, I just pull this and it unthreads. This, there's a knot now. I can't unthread that. All right, so as we're saddle stitching, the main thing to do is to create a consistent pattern of what you are doing. Whatever you do, make sure it's consistent. So the way that, um, I'm having my holes go is in a slant. So it's kind of slanted like this. The top is going away from me. The bottom is coming towards me. So I'm gonna start off my first stitch to get it going. So I'm gonna even the threads up on both ends. Let me tighten this a, a hair more. I'm gonna even the threads up, okay? And this is a little bit harder to see, but I'm taking the back side. So let's say my left side is the back, so I'm my left side. Um, I'm coming through the hole, and it could be, it can sometimes be a little bit challenging to get it through. So you may want to stick your needle in a little bit and just kind of clear out that hole. Okay, so it comes through the back side. I'm going to make a cross, so then my right hand needle comes behind, I make a cross, I pull. So I do this thing with my hand where I push it that way, okay? And now I'm sticking it in the bottom front part of the hole, okay? And I start to, now the threads are through, they haven't pierced each other. And now when I'm pulling, my right hand is coming up, my left hand is going down. Okay, and then you can pull nice and tight. And now we have one really nice stitch. So, let's do it again. Again, my right hand comes behind the needle, makes the cross. I do this thing with my finger where I push it this way, and I'll try to show from another angle, and I put it through the bottom. Okay. All right, we're starting to look pretty good. Okay, do it again, and I'm gonna get another angle for you. All right, let's try this angle. It's a little bit hard for me, but let's, uh, let's try to do it so you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna zoom in and readjust this, I think. So I have one thread that didn't line up. So if you ever have a thread that just, it doesn't quite look right, sometimes you can kind of coerce it in, or you can loosen it just a hair. Right, so loosen it, and then re-tighten, and now it looks fine. Occasionally that happens, um, that was really because I was being a little bit inconsistent with my uh, hand placement here, because the camera is right here, I mean it's four inches from my hand. Okay, so, do this thing, do the cross. Tilt the cross back, and of course you still probably can't see much. Maybe like that. Let's try to get an overhead shot. Maybe that'll be a little bit easier. All right. So, this should hopefully be a little bit easier to see. So, again, left hand, underneath, right hand, back. I make this little funky with my hands, I twist back. I put it through the bottom hole. Okay, it goes through that. I've cleared the thread. It's not doing anything crazy. And all I do is I come up. So I'm gonna try to change my hand position so you can see it. So I snug them and then I just pull a little bit tighter. Okay, how's my back one look? Looks good too. All right, again. Okay, this in. Cross, pick it, pull it, turn it, put it in the bottom hole, the bottom part. All right, so just so you, uh, you know how I'm doing, 
the front stitch. So it has an angle, it might be a little bit hard to see on the camera, but it does have a slight angle to it. And the back of it, again, has an angle. So you might see a little bit of inconsistencies in it. Honestly, that's just because of the way the camera is. The best way to get a consistent stitch is to, um, it's just gonna be to make sure your method's the same every time. And so when you're moving equipment around, I, I may pull at a slight 40, you know, two degree, or maybe, you know, 42 instead of a 30, or 45 instead of a 30 to, to clear the camera. Um, but I'm gonna do a couple real quick. It gets pretty quick when you, uh, when you get going. It gets nice and quick when you get going. So one, I, I All right, now that I'm doing it a little bit more consistently, you'll see the ends of these are pretty good. So these here, and then these here. So that is a saddle stitch and how you do it. Now, how do you backstitch? So I don't go crazy with backstitches. I just simply follow, so I personally simply follow the direction of the stitch. That one came in there. This one is above it, okay? And then I'll kind of manipulate the stitch a little bit. These holes are pretty big for what we're doing. Okay, and then I'll go one more. And so that's what my back stitch will look like. And I'll either snip it and burn it or do another back stitch. Um, just really depends on what it is. Let me show you the other um, nice type of punch that will get you some really nice holes. All right, this time now I'm gonna make a on the other side. And so what I was talking about before with my other, this, uh, this lock is I can just pull like that and then pull my needle off. So I'm gonna actually cut these. Alright, so what I'm talking about now, so we're gonna do the other really nice style of stitches with a different style of punch. This is a round punch. So it's gonna be like this just for the fact that uh, this is pretty thick and I wouldn't normally use this size of a punch on leather like this. I would actually use a, a different one. The only thing about these I don't like is you get all these extras. So this punch removes material. The diamond punches pushes it away, which also means that if you were to come back, I'm just gonna use this hammer. And you tap it, and then do it on both sides. So again, I wouldn't normally do it with that hammer, but it's just kind of what I have here. You actually start to close up those holes a little bit and flatten out that stitch and it still, it basically creates a really nice uh, look. Anyway, back to, back to this. We have our round punches set. All right, so similar to last time. Even up the needles, okay. Put one through the back side, 
pull it. Now here's the difference, right? There's no front, there's no back, there's up, down. You can still do the little cross, but put it at the top of the hole. And then just pull it through. And at this point I just kind of even it up again, make sure it's good, pull it through, and do it again. That's all it is. So the only disadvantage is uh, it removes material. And that it doesn't want to stay in my stitching pony. Okay. I also personally don't think it gets as tight. But that's a personal opinion. That's it. The stitches look more straight. Those look more angled. So my advice to you is do whatever you like the most. They're both actually really solid methods. I think the saddle stitch looks a little bit more traditional and nicer, but if you are working with people who, you know, are not the strongest at stitching or, or using the holes or something like that, then the other method is, is still pretty good. Honestly, they're, they're both very comparable. I, I wouldn't overthink it by any means. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.